a sizable lead at the start of game two and just kind of really, in his own words, just kind of fell apart. He let it get away from him. So <laughs> he, he came over here and asked me, he was like, yo, what did you think about uh, my game just today? I was like, I think you suck, bro. <laughs> 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 and I, like, you know, I'm not joking because I think Louis is great, but he was like, what do you mean? I was like, bro, you had a, a, a one stock and 80% lead. Yeah. <laughs> I think you should be 1-0 right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's to gotta make sure he manages that, that timer better, right? Because I think that was the thing that got away from him in game two. Where he uh, inevitably ended up getting timed out because he kept attacking with like under 30 seconds left. Bro, I really don't think he realized. This dude's ridiculous. He said, and I quote, you know, I saw the timer yeah. and then I forgot about it. That's insane. <laughs> That's my <laughs> goat. <laughs> God you bless him. Ever admit that? <laughs> I love him so I much. Like, uh, it's low key kind of real though. <laughs> like, Luis kind of has the vibe funny. of like your friend from like college or high school that was really good at the game and somehow became a top player. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I feel like a lot of these guys are like professionals. I like, get the vibe Ken is a professional. Signs a professional. Ooh. You know, yo, your hits are kind of spot on when I don't think they're about me. That well. <laughs> That should just tell you how accurate I was. Oh, man, right? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. He said, well, Luis is a guy who definitely went through some hardships. I'm like, light though. <laughs> like, this, yeah. He has it Luis way has good. known struggle, and it builds his character. <laughs> Unlike light. Hey, he's from North Carolina. Oh, man. <laughs> what does that mean? I, uh, Oakland, baby? I don't know. Like, <laughs> Oakland. <Okay. laughs> All right, this is, uh, yeah, we're at another situation. I feel like this is what always happens in this type of match, though. Like, both these characters kind of have to struggle to find that uh, that final hit if it's not just a spin dash confirm or a straight hit from uh, Palutena. So, yeah. uh-oh. He's looking for, oh, missed grab. Yeah, I kind of get the feel this one's going to go to distance. Oh, but nice uh, catch there from Ken, covering uh, Luis ledge option there. The first stock is so good for Sonic and Palutena, really, if mm -hmm. Luis was able to get that one, being able to get that easy early combo with the neutral is trying to land that back air, but getting kind of stuffed. And that's something we kind of saw Louis Money struggle with when he was fighting against Sonics. He said that he didn't really know how to take the lead back, and we kind of saw that. Like, he was just, the Sonic man just starts landsliding Louis Money. He doesn't know what to do here. Yeah, and it's unfortunate, too, because he's doing the, the idea is there, obviously. You know, use the shield. Hit the, hit the, uh, you know, hit the Sonic with the shield, therefore uh, you don't have to worry about no trades or anything like that, but he's just uh, getting outspaced by the timing of Ken, who is using his spin dash quite well to get uh, around and get a nice whiff on it, so. The, the key here is, like, I don't really think you need to play any different. I mean, mm -hmm. he's camping you out from the minute the game says go. It's not right. like he's doing something particularly different. Right. It's just you get more antsy because you have a stock deficit. Right. You just can't do that. Right. Louis getting that back door finally shaking his head. In fact, that's how he had to get the stock. After taking 108%, he's already hurting. This is one F smash away from, uh, you know, getting him out of the second stock. Ooh. Yeah, if you're getting throw kills that late into a stock, it, it usually is indicative of, like, you are really far behind, particularly yeah. if you look at these percents, 146 now, and, and he just has to keep approaching Ken. You don't want to burst dash attack, because obviously Ken can just change his timing and hit you for it. Okay. So get out that spin dash right there with the auto reticle, but it's still looking quite rough here for Louie Money. Yeah. Can he just dash attack these side of these? Like, um, that's like an invincible shield. But that's what I'm saying is like if Ken times it correctly, he can catch it first. He just wins. I, th I think he could catch it first if he just pops it early. But the onus is still on Luis to approach. Whose yeah. invincible option is more broken? Yeah. I mean, it's also it's also <laughs> the whole like I can jump out of spin dash as well. So right, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like it's a uh, it's, it's, it's quite rough. It's quite rough for like it, the idea. Obviously, there is that yeah, you you do this throw the dash attack and hope for the best, but. Oh, if you're Louie, you gotta have a sense of urgency right now. Because I don't listen. <laughs> no, I, say something nice, bro. I, say something nice. No, I was. <laughs> I was gonna say because because Ken is playing a very astute and stoic game right now. Ah, true. All right. There you go. Oh, he man. is locked in. He's in the zone. I saw this guy. He was the, one of the first people in the venue practicing. It's beautiful. Oh, man. And right now, all that practice is definitely paying off. Louis, you know, kind of realizing definitely probably keep an eye on the timer. It's ticking down for sure. Ken doing a good job keeping his spacing, but at the same time, getting these ticky tacky hits that are all amounting to just additional damage. There they could have survived the dash attack. Oh, good setup. Oh, no, we spring it out of action. Not I, was, I was waiting for that dash attack. He's able to do it if he's super close quarters just because it is so fast. Feels like Ken isn't pulling the trigger on the shield fast enough. Triple dash attack. Final one will kill. Tough. 
right, you realize man. the move works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he definitely has been throwing quite a bit more dash attacks in the later half of this match. Yeah. But two minutes left on the clock against Sonic when you have to make up this type of deficit while you're probably still going to be getting hit as well. Uh, this could go to time, for sure. Yeah, I think Ken will kind of decide that, right? Oh my goodness. Jeez. Really? That's just up to Sonic. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He, had, he, had, he saved that, too. He hadn't been going off that aggressively up to that point. Not that far out. Right. He got the first kill with Sarah, but it was really on stage. Yes. Um, but Sonic will chase you down, and that's the thing that Sonic will do, is they'll kind of control the pace and force you to play their game for so long, and then randomly they'll just pop it out. You see him going all the way out there. Luis thinking he had a little bit more time, so he pops the air dodge early, kind of getting surprised by that forward air. Yeah, you never really know either, because it's like, like you said, he could just play he could just play the rest of the time out. He's winning by like 100%, so it's like, why would he go for that? And that's like the mental game right there. It's really uncomfortable to have to switch back and forth, because you kind of get, you need a certain level, and like you could speak to this better than I could, so you can let me know. But I feel like to fight these kind of matchups, you need a level of mental discipline where it's like, okay, don't swing. Yeah. Wait a second, don't do that. And then Sonic just kind of changes it up last second. It's like, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, now the rules are rewritten. Yeah, I mean, I play a character that's, like, pretty much just as spoiled in that regard. I control the pace, like, at all times. Sure. Yeah. So, like, yeah, no, I definitely get that. You just have a lot of control. And it kind of just makes you feel like you really... If you lose, it's kind of on you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like, you, you kind of made the pace a little too fast or something, you know? Damn, okay. Ken, man, with the hot start right here, though. Finally getting himself hit, but okay, the, the uh, tech away instead of the tech in. I don't know a lot of people probably would have uh, expected that tech in, including Louie, but not on point. Man's taking quite a bit of damage already, and Ken is now back to his old antics. Here we go. Dude, I want Louie to do so well because, like, I know he's one of, like, the NorCal representatives, and this venue is, like, he's here every week, you know what I mean? So I know he's got, like, a sense of pride in, like, quote-unquote defending the house or whatever, but, huh? What? Oh, is that at me? What this, does that mean? This dude can't oh my read. God. <laughs> move bag, remind. Ch what does that mean? Move, oh, move your bag, bag behind oh. the chair, bro. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ, I hate this guy. I mean, <laughs> is there I want to take him to an escape Listen. room. I want to take EE to an escape that, room. That, I'll never get out. I'll die in there. That last what? Word, they really clocked him out. Who can't oh my read? God. God. <laughs> Why didn't he just text me? You're sitting here putting up these signs like calligraphy. Uh, uh, bro, can't read any new shots. An escape room in EE is just jail, bro. Like, we're not what getting out of there. Well, hold on it's just a second. Bro, can't read any new Neolithic stuff. You just know Neolithic. That's true. Listen. They, they hated Jesus too. Uh, oh what? my God! This <laughs> came right. with the okay. uh, That's talk, very funny. Uh, talk about this match, though. We got Cannon in firm control right now, putting on what I would call a clinic for the uh, the hometown guy, Louis Money. That might be the nicest thing you ever said about him. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, we're, if, we're we wanna, better. if we want to uh, ignite the Politana conversation, she just kind of. She's best when you're at that even keel, when you're both at, you know, the same amount of stocks, maybe same percent, but she can kind of just kind of use her normals and her basic stuff to catch up with you or surprise you. I feel like when she's a stock down, it's just, I don't know, you got to swing big to get that stock. Yeah. It's not happening. So what do you think about Palutena? I, I, I agree with the Palutenas, with, with the whole Incineroar thing. I get it. I don't know if I agree that she's better or worse than Incineroar, but I get what they're saying. She's a tough bracket character because there's so many characters that that decide the pace that are either DLC or characters that came up late meta like Sonic, and it's like, okay, well, what do I do about this? Look, yeah, let's this keep it real. Bad. Put this paddle away and bring out the, the, the fox. Bring the fox out, He was bro. training with it. No. He said he was getting some good results and friendlies throughout the weekend. I don't foresee this changing. Like, you got to try something else for Louis. I'm just, That's I mean, I we, every time I, I said it, he was like, you know, low-key, my box has been cooking. That's what he did. Exactly. Every, every time. Yeah. Every time. He told me that, too. <laughs> Actually, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, I definitely, like, obviously he can do it with the Palo. That's what he uh, got to game five, what, game four, I think? Game four. Sonic. Yeah, but it was like, you know, yeah. it, it should have probably been a game five. But uh, I can agree with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I can see that he can definitely do it with the Palo, but it's just, this is... This is a different type of uh, Sonic you're playing, man. I don't know. Ken is willing to just kind of chill for the entirety of the set, while Sonic will definitely sometimes run at you. 
Yeah, uh, no, for sure. Yeah, so. Ooh, part of me wonders if Sonic's sort of trying to adapt his play style and be a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more uh, he kind of pressure oriented. Kind of puts him in those positions where he is more likely to lose the sets against somebody like Luis. Meanwhile, Ken, who can somewhat have a more, I don't want to say one dimensional, that's kind of derogatory, but mm -hmm. a little bit more. Uh, Targeted game plan, let's say. Yeah. Uh, can kind of be a little bit stronger against somebody who doesn't know how to deal with it all that well. I like to say that all the Japanese players, they're known for usually going in with like one game plan. Exactly. It's, a, it's a very yes. solid game plan, but like they usually just have one. Exactly. Yeah. If you get by that, then it gets like a lot easier, but again, it's a very solid one. Yeah, trying yes. to put them on the uh, in the position where they need to switch their game plan up, adapt to that, like that's where you can really find a lot of success. I think that that's one of the reasons WebJP did so well yesterday against Akola. He was, I thought he was fantastic. Figured out that game plan. Yeah, like he was just like, okay. And then I, decide I, to lose. Yeah. Well, that's, that, <laughs> no, hold on. That, I, I st that's not his fault. That's the other thing too, because when you see Akola get shaky, he, like, you could see the nervousness in the play. Like the way that he sort of maneuvers the character. You could tell. Uh -oh. Fox has been chosen. Has, is it time? He like, brought it out. He's like, gonna press the Nair button. Bring he out the brought Fox. it out. Is that how you win, just Nair? Bro, what does Spin Dash do to Nair? Lose. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> like, all right, bro. Ooh, well, do -do. Air dodge. Ooh. <laughs> let's see if the let's see if the Fox <laughs> is actually low key cooking like he said. So grab. What are you doing? Uh, oh uh, my I'm God. critiquing. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna uh, get this all this guy's it, trash. It, it, it's, it's been two been, seconds. It's now he's just Charles with like meaner. He's on Metify right now. He's just Charles with a resume. Oh man. All right, this guy, it's going to be interesting to see if this uh, Fox can actually do it. But yeah, so far, man, Ken has just been on, you know, on a tear uh, in this match. So, uh, we're in this, the match against the Palutena. So, yep. tonight is a little different with the speed. So, I'm obviously in the pool that my character's broken, but not as good as everyone else thinks. Because people say, like, top mm. five. But, I know I'm really going to go against that right now. In this matchup, okay, you need to not do that. Uh, <laughs> in, in, this, in this matchup, you need to keep it simple, honestly. Like, just abuse Nair. Like, Spin Dash really can't beat it if you just time it right. He can't sit in the corner because you have laser. And then when he catches on that you're narrowing, grab is just your best friend here. Like, it's very simple to play this matchup. It's not easy, I'd say, but... Like, it's like the same concept. You, simple, you have a yeah. simple game plan. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, so you're saying, like, once you kind of, like, refined it, like, it doesn't matter what Sonic <laughs> it is, it becomes a lot easier to orchestrate. The more you do in this matchup, the worse it gets. Like, okay. don't do too much. Hey, hold on, bro. Uh, Ken's doing a lot right now. Ken's doing yeah. a lot of scrapping, actually. Yeah. You know, all, all things considered. Okay, I like the idea. Just, you know, to catch him by surprise, bro. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, man. That was good timing <laughs> on Ken letting go of the spin dash right there. All right. Oh. I wonder, how, I wonder how practice he is in this matchup uh, as well. With the, uh, well, I, I don't know how if they're oh. in the same region or not. But yes. you know, oh, he okay. beat Kananabe at uh, some tournament recently. Was it uh, Port? Port? Might yeah. Have been Port. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about Ken? Yeah. Yeah, Ken beat him at Port. Yep. Ken said after the match though that he feels like Kananabe doesn't really know the matchup. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. Did he say that in English? Yes. <laughs> no, I I speak Sonic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I had the translator on deck, but you know. Oh. All right. So he really is just. <laughs> <laughs> English for everyone, but EE is yeah. <laughs> I actually don't think Ken likes this matchup at all. When I played him, he went in Cinero game three. I mean, really, honestly, Luis, picking up some momentum right now. Just get a game, bro, and just, just spark something. Because if, it, if you're Cinero? accurate and he does not like that. Yeah. Huh? What the hell? He went in Cinero versus me when uh, he I bet lost that went crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was yeah, good. I, just, like, I, I, I didn't put two. I was like. He just said it and I like moved past it. Like, Wait, what? Yeah. That's such a, he a said, stark contrast of characters. Sonic fast as hell to Incineroar. And he said this game is better than Palu. Yeah, like, what? <laughs> Imagining Ken, who always wants to be chased, going to Incineroar. Like, I'll catch you now. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe. Don't never expect it. Oh. Huh? Oh, okay. damn. Okay. Right. Jukes. I like the attempt. Yeah. All right, so Louis, I mean, definitely doing better in, in this match with the Fox. Actually, had, in a position where he could take the stock uh, first, but he could definitely get there. Damn. You gotta stop running into just careless straight hits. His defense That's also, it. and yeah. uh, on offense, uh, really, uh, but his defense and offense of like his, his whip punish has been absolutely uh, insane so far in this set between both the Palutena and the uh, the Fox. But yeah, I gotta give it up. Now he's back as always, though. Just hang out on the other side till I find my opening. Boom! Oh. Look at that big opening too. Mm. He needs to play a lot less of the ground game he's playing here. I don't think Fox does a very good job of beating Sonic on the ground because, like, then you're just fighting against Spin Dash with, like, no counter. Yeah. 
So you want to just go air to air. Yeah, you want to intercept. Sure. Like, you don't want to just be in his face because what do you really do about that? Especially in this position where, like, he's so clearly looking for the kill. He's getting kind of antsy. He's not going for grabs yeah. anymore. He just wants to end it, put it to last stop. Yeah. Do Fox stuff, but Which, you got to get ooh. there first. <laughs> Good drift. It's kind of a lot of what we saw when he was playing oh, against Palatina. Oh, okay, late. Unfortunate. Might be a 3-0 looming. Yeah, he's getting the opportunities. He's just not pulling the trigger. Reaction time's a little bit slower um, than I think we're used to seeing from him. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, goodness gracious. That was scary. He should have got all of that. He should have DI'd out so I can complain about Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Take one for the team. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, again, he saves that till the end. Very calculated from Ken as he gets that 3-0 over Louis Money. I will say, this is definitely the time to test this out. Like, obviously, this isn't Gauntlet, and I think if he, like, polishes it a bit more, Fox is definitely the answer for him to go versus Sonic. It would be more effective for sure, I yeah. think. Um, I mean, I, said, I could probably see that come out maybe one game earlier, but, yeah, I mean, who, who knew that the second game was going to go like that? The Palutena wasn't doing, like, crazy bad. It just needed yeah, to clean yeah. some things up. But yeah. then, as you said, man, I just felt like he was – well, one, it felt like Ken definitely kind of conditioned him to do everything that he wanted him to do. Uh, there was a lot of whiff punishes. He, once he started getting dash attacked, started whiff punishing that. Um, you know, a lot of, of the air to airs were going in the favors of Ken, so it just didn't really feel like uh, Louis ever, ever really found footing in this match, unfortunately, uh, on any of the games. So. I, I think Sonic is so good that you can have such a, a different level of expression and play style with him because he has so many different ways he can maneuver in the space. So, like, when you fight Sonics, he wanted to go Politanic. He's like, all right, well, this works pretty well. Ken is an entirely different beast. He runs the timer a little bit more. He will approach less, a uh, bit more consistently. He just, he's more of, he just does his own thing and sets his own pace. It felt like uh, Luis just didn't have the answer for that. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, and I get the, the whole Palo thing, and to your point, TK, maybe a, a game sooner would have been better. I think he was probably still had like in the back of his mind like how how he maybe should have taken it over Sonic. So he's just like, well, if I stick with Palu, maybe I'll get the result I want today. Just didn't quite uh, work out in his favor. But we'd love to see the Fox get more polished, more refined uh, down the road. He's still got a whole gauntlet phase to go through, and that's going to be a, a bloodbath in and of itself. Yeah, man. 